Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Burgess from Strength Co. And today we are in San Antonio, Texas at Starting Strength San Antonio. We're gonna get a workout in, take a look around, and show you all the options that you have at Starting Strength gyms across the country. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. So here we are, San Antonio, Texas, home of the Alamo. My wife and I just toured it. I loved it ever since I was a kid. I had the Kunsian cap, the musket, the powder horn. I think I watched the Disney movie like, I don't know, 500 times. Anyway, I digress. Just north of the city, off of the I-10. It took us about 15, maybe 20 minutes to get here directly from the Alamo, right from downtown by the Riverwalk. It is 1.45 in the afternoon. I don't know traffic patterns here, but that's how long it took if you're staying downtown or in the area. I know a lot of our followers are familiar with starting shrink methods, so we won't go into detail on that, but they're opening up franchise gyms all over the country. I mean, literally, they're popping up all over the place. And if you like Shrenko plates, that's a great place to go check out some Shrenko plates. So every time a new flag or sign goes up, that's another place you're gonna find the strength co iron now their main mission is to coach people in strength training in their gyms however I've had clients that train in my starting strength affiliate gym in California that go on the road and they reach out to the gym they actually answer the phone and they allow them to drop in if you're a random off the street I think each gym's probably gonna have a little bit different rules but it's definitely something that if you want high quality equipment a private environment and a place to train when you're traveling this is a good spot they have a lot of really good stuff it's just gonna depend on when you hit them up if you can get in there. And remember, coaching or having a coach in person is always valuable, no matter how long you've been lifting. So even if you know what you're doing and you're on the road, it might be worth popping into one of these gyms, hiring a coach for an hour, hour and a half, have them do a session and get your form tweaked up. You almost always learn something when you're working out with a coach. If nothing else, maybe a little bit of motivation. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go inside, take a look at the facility, and get to training. Okay, so we're inside the gym now, and no matter how many of these or which one of these you go to, they're all gonna look fairly similar. I've worked out in the one in Dallas and the one in Boston and now this one in San Antonio and I think one more. But anyway, they're gonna have Mark Ripito's C-channel design racks. They're gonna have the Texas Power Bar starting strength bar, which is a uh, no finish. Um, Texas Power Bar, uh, bare steel that is. We're gonna have strength coat plates and it's somewhere between eight and 12, I think the biggest one might be like 13 or 14 racks in there. So there's a lot of space to train. Everyone gets their own platform, their own bench, all that kind of stuff. And so you can see my wife's already getting started over there. There's a thing on the wall where she can track her workout as it goes down. But we'll kind of show you around, show you some of the equipment. And one of the things that I like if you're training and you come to one of these is it's gonna be clean. You guys saw some of the gyms we've gone to already in El Paso at JRB NOS uh, uh, Reserve Base and you know you're gonna see different levels of cleanliness and it is nice to go into a gym and know that when you come in it's gonna be clean and you can train and get out so let's get to work okay so changed over and ready to train let's talk programming a little bit we want to give you some options for when life is busy and you're traveling and all that stuff so if you guys watched the last few videos I squatted in Costa Mesa before I left and then in El Paso, I deadlifted heavy and I did some light pressing. Um, and then at the Navy base, I did some squats again. So I haven't benched in about a week. So I'm gonna bench heavy today and I'm probably gonna do some pressing volume and then maybe some chin-ups. I'm not probably gonna squat or deadlift today because tomorrow we'll be in Houston at Corrupted Strength and I wanna deadlift there and you know, if Russell Hort, he's there deadlifting 800 pounds, I should probably at least be able to pull five or something like that. But anyway, we'll show you the workout today. Heavy bench, I'll go somewhere, try and collect five reps heavy, um, and then probably five by five press uh, after some back off bench presses. So don't overthink it, make it hard. If you're an intermediate, you know, get in the gym, Get pick one or two lifts, make them hard. Um, don't overthink it. The important thing is to get in the gym and keep training. And then when life stabilizes and things are normal again and you're not traveling, you can kind of die hard, go on a program, make sure you're going up on low. Okay, so just did a warm up set with the bar, realized that my bar is a little bit too high, and I thought this is probably something interesting to point out in the gym. I'm not a gym nerd. I'm not a you know, one of these garage gym basement people that just nerds out on everything. I wish I was, I'm just not. I like high quality equipment that lasts. That's it, I do basic barbell movements and I'll do a bunch of extra stuff. Um, but in here, something that you're gonna run into that you're probably not used to, uh, and it's just a part of the Mark Ripito experience. It's gotta be a little bit different, you know? It's gotta be as Texan as possible. Uh, first is this bolt and nut. This is gonna serve as your J-hook or J-cup. Uh, I had mine one too high, so I gotta go down one here. Yep, 
And so you have to screw it on. It works great, it's gonna last forever. It's just gonna be different than what you're used to. Most people are used to a, a swing out J-hook. Uh, second thing it's gonna be a little different than you're used to is this bench. I mean, when you pick this thing up, it's gonna last you forever. It's got an angle iron down there. It's heavy, it's solid. I think it's a walnut or white oak or something. That's gonna be a little bit different, but you'll get used to it, you'll be fine. And again, if you're just training temporarily and you prefer a padded bench, then whatever. When you go home, get on your padded bench. It's nice, I'll let you know what I think as I bench heavy on it today. Okay, so I just hit 315 for a triple. Uh, I actually forgot to hit record on this camera. I got it on my cell phone, so we'll show you the backlog. But what I was saying is, rep ranges, giving yourself um, some options if you've been out of the gym or if you haven't done a particular lift. I always prioritize the squat and the deadlift when I'm short on training time, it's the most bang for your buck. So again, haven't missed in a while. I went for 320 for two plus. I got three, third one was kind of jank. I could feel my butt coming up off the bench. Um, but anyway, give yourself some grace there, you know? And also, if you're still new at this and you're traveling, probably just add five pounds anyway and you'll be fine. All right, so I'm gonna finish benching, I'm gonna finish pressing, I'm gonna show you some more around the gym. We'll see what's up. Okay, that's a wrap here in San Antonio. Uh, I ended up doing 320 for that triple, followed by two singles. I backed my bench down to 275, two sets of five, just pressed 185, five sets of five. All upper body, probably hit a few chin-ups on my way out. Um, a little over an hour, but I took some phone calls while I was in here and I'm not as rushed today as I have been this whole trip. Okay, so a recap on this gym or any starting strength gym that you're gonna walk into. Um, it's not gonna be the cheapest, but everything is gonna be quality. Everything is gonna be premium. Again, if you're new to strength training, you live near one of these gyms, you need to get in there and get some coaching. If you've been training a while, call one of these gyms. If you're traveling, you're on the road, or you're visiting friends, family in another city, um, they have quite a few locations now. The manager, the owner, they're gonna answer the phone. They're gonna tell you their process. If you can explain to them that you can come in here, you're not gonna kill them, they're probably gonna let you drop in. They're gonna have an easy to fill out waiver. Um, it's gonna be seamless to pay them. With that said, it's gonna be a lot more than your average gym because everything's nicer. For example, El Paso, the hybrid one that we did, Worked out great, had a great workout. I had to pay $30 for the month, okay? You're probably looking at $50 for a session. I don't know their pricing, um, but it's gonna be more. But I mean, everything's quality. Obviously, they have the best plates hand out, hands down in the industry. Bars are very good. There are some things I talked about that are gonna be a little bit different that you're not used to. The C-channel racks, the bolts and nuts, the wooden benches, you know, there's gonna be some stuff you're not used to, but I mean, Nespresso coffee, water. I cannot talk enough about how clean the place is. You walk in, it smells brand new. This gym is kind of new, but I mean, you can tell it gets clean nonstop, and I don't know, but for me, I, I love that. I don't like going into the gym thinking I'm gonna get you know, tetanus or whatever. Um, the bathroom spotless, there's two bathrooms, two bathrooms in a boutique gym, that's huge. So check them out if you're in the area. I liked it, strength code plates in almost every single one of them. Hope you liked the video, hope it's helpful. Remember, you can train on the road, you can train when you're busy. Find time, make time, get in the gym. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Would you say that you love training? Or could you say that you just love lifting weights? I love it. What did you do today? I deadlift. No, I you squatted. Squat. What'd you squat? Pressed. I did three, no, 225, two. three singles, and then I... And you feel better now, right? Yes. And isn't it funny that you planned this trip by what gyms we would go to? Yes, that's what I did. Yeah, that that's it. That was my idea. That's it. You just love to work out. Never want to miss. Never. You can't miss, right? It's part of the contract. It's not optional.